So earlier today Ubisoft released a trailer highlighting the new arena mode and everything that will be included. And it's sort of what we expected but we did see a couple of cool things so that's what we'll be talking about tonight. It'll be short since I don't want to bore you guys with training mode specifics so let's not waste any more time and get right into it. So arena mode comes with a couple different things. First we've got the training media section. It's basically just a bunch of videos breaking down various things in the game, from the game modes and heroes down to the faction war. After that we've got the apprentice trials which is the new opening training sequence. All of us had to go through a watered down tutorial before we started playing and the apprentice trials is basically that, just revamped in more detail than before. It's mainly for new players who have just gotten the game to learn the basics and the core mechanics of the game before they jump right into it. It looks pretty cool, they grade you as you go and you'll get rewards as you go along, and I really like how they added these friendly indicators to help new players with their timing. After the apprentice trials are the warrior trials, which is just an advanced training section going over the extremely deep and intricate systems of external blocking and the complexity of the art of parrying. I do think it's kind of funny how in the trailer they mention that zone attacking is used to fend off multiple opponents because in reality we all know what they're used for. And then finally we got the training arena which is your traditional training mode equipped with enemy behaviors, player states, indicators, and damage and stamina gauges. Training arena also brings my favorite part of the update, the knights arena which won't be included in multiplayer just yet but I think it will be added in about a week. It's worth it to play through the training mode even if you feel like you're a legend and that you know everything there is to know about For Honor since the rewards are actually pretty good. For completing the apprentice trials you'll grab 2000 steel, a scavenger crate, a border, an emblem, and an ornament. And for finishing the warrior trials you'll get 1500 steel, an emblem, a border, an ornament, and another scavenger crate. That's 3500 steel for practicing which is definitely worth it to me because I like playing duels and to get 3500 steel you have to play at least 70 duel matches. 70 of them assuming that you don't have orders or anything like that. Anyways I'm pretty happy about this entire thing being added in for new players and even for some of the veterans. The new people don't have to go online and get frustrated immediately anymore. They can train in a stress-free environment, and longtime players like me can practice new heroes and learn their values without having to look it up. Also, it is kind of annoying when you're trying to learn a new hero and you're matched with high rep players. Having a place to practice and learn in a game like this was needed, and it may be late, but I mean, hey, it's better late than never. Yubi has been adding content to the game, albeit at a slower pace recently, but they haven't completely abandoned it so we gotta give them that. Tomorrow we'll be getting a bunch of stuff to really improve the game and make it funner to play and I'm happy about that because things were getting a little stale. Anyways that's all I got for this video, it's really short tonight, I just wanted to let everyone know about training mode if you haven't already heard about it. As always I want to hear your opinion on this so feel free to talk to me down in the comments and if you like the video feel free to leave a like and sub if you're new because I might actually post a video at a decent time rather than midnight. Victory.